Are you Bray? Uh, the great Commander Shepard. <laughs> and me without my autograph book. Save it. Just take me to Aria. Follow me. So where is she? Shepard. Arya. How dramatic. There are too many eyes and ears in purgatory. I assume this is about retaking Omega. This is about your war, Shepard. Cerberus controlling the Terminus system seriously bolsters their mobility. Since taking Omega, they've spread through the galaxy. Surely the Alliance has noticed. Cut to the chase. What's your plan? Kick them out. I've amassed a fleet of Merc ships. We're going to punch through enemy lines and invade. Once we're on Omega, it's a ground war. That's why I want you. I only accept the best. The leader of the Cerberus occupation is General Oleg Petrovsky. He's the one who ousted me. Don't know him. The elusive man's top military strategist and best kept secret. But all you really need to know is that he's a merciless bastard. Sounds familiar. Shepard. I know I'm hated. I ruled Omega with an iron fist. But the people were free. Their lives were theirs. I preserved that. This man took all that away, and he is going to pay. When Omega is mine again, I'll give you everything. I've got ships, mercs, Ezo, all yours for the war. What's the catch? I have objections to some of the company you keep. So you'll have to leave the Normandy and its crew behind. My crew are professionals. Let's just say, I want you all to myself. Bray will provide coordinates to my fleet. Oh, and while we're still in the Citadel, please be discreet. The fleet is hidden in this system. Signal me when you're on your way. Ari and I will meet you on the command ship. <laughs> Can't wait to see what all the fuss is about. We're outshipped four to one, and most of our vessels are transports with limited firepower. We're not here to win a space battle, Jarl. We just have to punch through their line. So, you've commandeered a Cerberus cruiser. The guest of honor has arrived. We can finally start. Let me guess. You're planning on infiltrating the enemy fleet. Exactly. We position ourselves to strike a crippling blow, then my forces join the fun. A lot could go wrong. The assault's been planned for weeks, Shepard. For now, just sit back. Let me steer. Not the best start to our partnership, Arya. How things begin isn't nearly as important as how they end. Bray, move through the relay. Signal the fleet to wait. They only follow on my command. Head for the command ship. Captain, to say that. The hard way. That's right. Nice and slow. Be patient. It is close.
close as you can. Fire! Signal the fleet through the relay. We're through. Head straight for the station. We're being hailed by the general. Should be interesting. Put him through. Arya. I knew this had to be you. You'll never make it. Call it off now. You're barking up the wrong tree, General. But maybe you can convince my partner. Commander Shepard. I've heard great things about you. My partner here doesn't have much to say for you. She's not used to being defeated. It clouds her judgment. A pity you left, Cerberus. We all sabotage ourselves in nefarious ways. Perhaps deep down you fear success. And Arya clearly thinks seeing you will unsettle me. Now it's my turn. I see you've gone to the trouble of augmenting that ship with Solaris armoring. An exorbitant waste. I've made improvements to Omega's outer defenses. My cannons will cut through you at will. He sounds pretty confident. Yeah, he does. So again, I say turn back. Let's see what you've got, Oleg. End transmission. That went well. Set preset course. We're ramming the station. Everyone brace for impact. What? Omega's kinetic barrier will stop my ships from landing. I equipped this cruiser with disruptors to take it out on impact. Don't worry. We'll probably survive the crash. Don't be stupid. Sound the evac. Damn it. Program escape pods for the station. Let's go. Everyone out. There's no time. really did upgrade Omega's outer defenses. So it would seem. The other escape pods made it. All right. What's our target? Need to hit the defense system station. Shut down Omega's outer defenses so my ships can land. If we don't, they'll be blown to bits like we were. Got it. This is what I brought you for. Ground. In combat, what you say goes. Arya relinquishing command? I'll believe it when I see it. I can be a team player, Commander. I know where we need to go, and you can get us there. Okay, let's move. Jarl, defenses are down. Signal the surviving ships to converge on the rendezvous point. Come in. Status. Rendezvous site secured. Hangar doors enabled. We'll have them open soon. Need them open now. My birds are coming in. Prep for reception. What exactly is this rendezvous point? That's where we're headed. It's a bunker I established on D-Deck for my 
more sensitive operations. It's utterly impenetrable with its own secret hangar and dock. Independent power source, life support, munitions. You'll see. Deploy to D-Deck. Investigate and await further instructions. Good chance the general knows where we're going. Then no time for sightseeing. What the hell is he doing? Who's there? Show yourself. Spirits, look who's back. Arya Talok. Nyreen, what the hell are you doing here? Playing cat and mouse, mostly. Just trying to stay alive. If it wasn't for these tunnels. My tunnels. I'm sure glad I showed them to you. If you hadn't, I'd be dead or locked up by now. Arya doesn't trust easily. I guess you're a good friend. I don't know. Are we, Arya? Shepard, this is Nyreen Kandros, ex-Turian military. We go way back. I've got a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Follow us, we'll get you to safety. I'll do my best. Ready to put that gun to good use? You have no idea how ready. General's forces at bay for a while. Let's get inside. Bunker team, retract the bridge and lower the blast door. We're coming in. Lock it down. Arya, I know this place is built like a fortress, but is it safe now that the general's clued in? Yeah. I feel like a sitting duck here. I have no intention of sitting around, and you both should know I assume nothing. And on that front, 
Nyreen, you left Omega fairly angry with me. I wasn't aware you'd returned. Explain yourself. The truth is, I never left. The fact I went to great lengths to keep from you. I'm not easily duped. Well done. But why? I just... couldn't leave. Considering all this, I wish I had. Well, you always said I'd be the death of you. Nyreen has military training. We can put her to good use. You're so quick to trust, huh, Shepard? And Nyreen never approved of Omega's... What did you call it? Moral bankruptcy? Are you willing to help defend it now? You'll find me very willing to liberate this station. Your combat skills seem a little rusty, but you're still a good shot. See my duty officer. Bray, keep an eye on her. Will do. All right, Shepard, we need to move fast. I'm itching for revenge. If you think I'm gonna let you carve a bloody path through this campaign, you're sadly mistaken. And if you think you're going to change me, well, you're welcome to try. Once up and running, this bunker will provide recon and secret access to much of the station. I'd appreciate it if you would quickly eyeball operations, see that things are setting up smoothly. What will you be doing? Checking in on my forces. I need to know how many survived the assault before I can plan the attack. It won't take long. Join me at the command console when you're ready. As how are we looking? All systems operational. Full Omega schematics coming online now. Let's take a look. I see. Shepard, those force fields we saw, the General has them set up everywhere. He's controlling access across the station. What are these dark areas? Many sections of Omega are powered down. I'm betting power is being siphoned to run those force fields. Find the source, priority one. And we'll need a full tactical assessment of all Cerberus positions. I'll get on it. Shepard, we have work to do. Our losses were significant. We can't field an army large enough to face down Cerberus. Then we need to find allies. <laughs> Story of my life. We've confirmed there is a Merc gang that's still active. The Talons are resisting the occupation. Not my first choice, but they're all we've got. Then it's time to play diplomat. And if the current leader won't join us, the next one will. Sorry to interrupt. What is it? I turned away for a second to offload supplies when I looked back. You lost her. Well, I... We're locked down. She's gotta be here somewhere. This bunker has secret access points to other parts of the station. Unfortunately, Nyreen knows them. Damn it, Bray. If I wasn't already short on manpower. We have to focus on getting the Talons on board. Shepard, I'll meet you at the armory exit when you're ready to go. But don't keep me waiting. What's your history with this gang? Some mutually beneficial dealings and some occasional violence. The Talons weren't even a blip on our radar until the plague in 2185. Your little war against the other gangs left a vacuum. Not my intention. Their leader, Darius, took advantage of the situation and carved the Talons a bigger piece of the local drug trade. Are we enlisting them because they're good or because we need numbers? Their cannon fodder, we're using them because they're the only game in town. You're gonna let them know that? Relax, Shepard. This is how it works on Omega. Just let me do the talking and... Looks like we fight our way through Cerberus to get to them. Let's move. Prepare for now. Last chance, Talon. Then, sir, one. 
Take care of the wounded, and scavenge what you can. I want us out of here ASAP. You heard the boss. Move it. Looks like we found the Talon leader. My, my. Nyrene, aren't you full of surprises? Arya, the deception was necessary. I needed to figure out what your plans were. The people on Omega depend on us. I couldn't risk compromising our operation. Not exactly standard procedures for a street gang. When Cerberus invaded, the Talons were a mess. I brought... new direction. The General's been hunting us ever since. Right now, he's attacking one of our outposts. That's where I need to be. We're done here, boss. Right. Aria, Commander Shepard, whatever you're here for, the answer's no. Kindly escort yourselves off Talon territory. We're here to help. We'll talk about it after we reach your outpost. That's a generous offer. Aria, does the Commander also speak for you? Not the way I would have put it, but that's the idea. All right, then. Come with me. We'll be evacuating this location as soon as possible. Try not to interfere with my people's work. Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. Also, routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant presence. Adjutants? Creatures created by Cerberus. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. Some kind of Reaper-based weapon. I fought them before they're a nightmare. It got worse after you left. Cerberus lost control of them. Those things tore apart the gangs, then attacked everyone in sight. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. Keeping your people alive through that couldn't have been easy. I watched friends get turned into monsters and I had to kill them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an outpost to defend. The adjutants really got under her skin. Cerberus is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. You've done an excellent job, Nyrene, but I'll be taking over now. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no? You'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. The truth is, none of us can do this alone. Our only chance is to join forces. You might be right. But the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang, and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? I mean, watch and learn. As Everything's in place. The entire station's connected. People of Omega, I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. You cannot be beaten, and you will never be controlled. Be ready. Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together, we will take Omega back!
that's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go. Now! What are you trying to do? Trying? The people of Omega. My people. Love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. The Talons will join your cause. Someone's got to make sure you don't run roughshod over our people. You see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Pretty much word for word. She thinks she's playing you. Nothing new here. One thing, though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. We're almost there, Shepard. The Talons will be the frontline fodder, now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife. Which will release Omega's civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. You might not want to compromise your alliance before it even takes shape. I've learned not to put much stock in truth and goodwill. It might be time to start again. Tell you what, I'll take it under advisement. Now, I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. Urgently, your attention. Talk to me, As. I've located the source that's powering the Cerberus force fields. Yes, I see. Shepard, take a look at this. The General is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Not completely. There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm. The processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. Arya, my patrol caught her in the perimeter. Please. You didn't catch me. We're allies now. Didn't Arya tell you? Nyrene was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready, but if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. Agreed, Commander. Glad one of you isn't on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyrene. We'll join you shortly. Shepard, I have last minute orders to dole out. I'll meet you there, too. Scouts are ready to go. I think they have trapped in here. You're in. Shepard, got a second? I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. Arya will be joining us soon. Now may be your only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Arya. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. I've heard you, Nyrene. At the end of the day, that's all I can ask. I'll be ready. Where 
arriving at one of the ESO processing plants. It's been powered down, so we'll have to pry open the door. I'll get it. Access to the mine should be on the far side. And the reactor is beyond that? According to the schematics, I ran Omega and Irene. I didn't work the mines myself. No, you had indentured servants for that. Spirits. Relax. They're all Cerberus. They've been ripped to shreds. I don't like this. When this is over, there'll be a lot of repairs to make. I hope you'll focus on the civilian areas first. You are relentless. That's one thing we have in common. Spirits! <laughs> Unload on it! Naive, wake up! <laughs> we were expected. More like lured. I knew the reactor would be the hard target. I gave you no choice but this route. It's too bad you're on the elusive man's side, Petrovsky. I'm on humanity's side. You're the ones trying to start a war for the glory of Arya. But now it's over. This isn't over until your next of kin can't identify you. I love your bravado, but have the sense to know when you're beaten. You've been neutralized, and I can leave you there to rot. You might as well give up. Never! Arya, what are you thinking? I'm not going out like this! Arya, don't! What the hell is she trying to do? Damn it, Arya, you're forcing my hand. Area? Yes, and I don't care. Shut it down. Shepard, don't. Try rerouting power away from the force fields. Damn it. Hold tight down there. Rerouting the power to maintain the other systems. Are you crazy? We're almost spent. Nyreen, watch your flank. This is who you're working for, Shepard. She doesn't care who gets hurt. What are you waiting for? She'd just thrown thousands of lives away. Shepard, now reads down. I'm stabilizing. You can't reroute power in time. Hit the fucking overload. Now! This shouldn't be that hard. Maybe something inside is holding you back. Maybe deep down you're starting to think the galaxy might be better off without her. She's never going to learn. She'll never change. Even if you win, Omega loses. Enough! Prepare for attack. Get the demolition crews into position. You 
okay? Despite your best efforts to kill me, your soft heart almost cost me everything. Quiet, Arya. It worked. Shepard saved us without sacrificing innocent lives. I applaud her. I suppose. Whatever. You fought bravely against those mechs in there, Nyreen. Very impressive. But? Why can't you bring that same grit when adjutants attack? It's pathetic. You tense up at the mere mention of those abominations. Lay off. She just saved you. I'm trying to help her, Shepard. Call it tough love. The war's starting. I don't mean to miss it. She's never been big on thank yous. Getting reports. All force fields down. Civilians taking to the streets in droves. Cerberus pulling back. That won't last. The people don't have the training to go up against Cerberus front lines. They'll be wiped out. Civilian casualties can't be avoided. You'll have to accept this. Say what you will, Arya. I won't allow senseless deaths. Do what you can to protect them. Of course, Commander. Arya, right here. Report. My team is scouting the maintenance tunnels. We've encountered Cerberus forces escorting engineers. They're moving gear. Look to be sending explosives to the station's central support columns. Bray, engage. Delay them as long as you can. We're coming. Got it. Roll out, people. If they detonate the main column, they'll cut off the way to afterlife. The Talon offensive will be stopped cold. So we split up. Yes. Nyreen, lead the frontal assault. Shepard and I will meet you in the markets after we've taken care of those bombs. Of course. But don't count on me building your memorials if you get yourselves killed. I like it when you're feisty. Got it. Those bombs just went away. The console is locked. We'll have to manually disable them. We're clear. Good. Nyreen, things are under control here. What's your situation? We're advancing to the Gozu district. Move forward. Keep that flank covered. Yes, boss. We're holding our own, but Cerberus has started targeting the civilians. Reports of casualties are coming in from all sectors. Save those you can, and head for the rendezvous point. We'll meet you there. We'll do what we can. Nyrene out. So how exactly do we get to afterlife from here? I'm thinking the straightforward approach for a change. Where's Nyreen? Scouting ahead. We've got our hands full holding this area. She's going on to afterlife.
Irene Candros was a good soldier. It's a shame she had to die for your petty ambitions. You're a dead man. No, wait! What now, Petrovsky? Divide and conquer, Commander. Candros killed the adjutants we hadn't finished experimenting on. The are fully under our control. The prototypes for our future army. Cease and desist all aggression. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. <coughs> Shepard, I'm unarmed, and I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. <coughs> You'll say anything to save your skin. I let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. Is this true, Arya? Yes. Cerberus had successfully taken the station and he let me go. Do you feel that, Oleg? That's death. Only inches away. Remember this feeling. I'm letting you. For my partner and for the war against your master. You better cooperate. Shepard. You and your alliance can decide his fate. Just get this filth off my station. Commander, glad to see you've had a calming effect on Ms. Talok. I tried talking sense into her one time. I look forward to hearing how you pulled it off. Don't assume you know where this is going. What? From what I understand, high-ranking alliance... Now that I've seen what you're capable of firsthand, maybe Arya's instincts were right. So, you're going to execute me. I'm your prisoner. After all he's done, it's too risky to let him live. Ha. Huh. Look who's the hard-ass now. Priceless. Bray, clean up this mess. I was starting to think you were rubbing off on me, Shepard, but maybe it was the other way around. Don't get the wrong idea. It's time you turned over a new leaf. Millions are suffering here, and many pay the ultimate price. I hope you'll honor them. Freedom isn't enough? Tell you what, I'll write myself a memo. And don't worry, I honor my debts. You'll have all the troops, ships, and Izo that I promised. Then I'll be going. Bray will take you back. I have a station to whip into shape. Citizens of Omega, hear me. I, Arya Talok, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go again. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders and... ...and we will cast them from our home. Then bury and mourn our dead. My methods haven't always been popular, and I can't promise that will change. But securing this station and everyone inside is now my primary purpose. No one will imprison us again. We may be bruised. 
bruised. We may be bloodied. Our Omega. You always get these crap details, Bray? <laughs> Not this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you off this rock. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. All right. Let's begin with the fact that Earth's most famous officer was born and raised in space. The commander was a strong biotic and a skilled technician, a deadly combination in a fight. She was a soldier and a leader, one who made peace where she could. And it was a privilege to know her. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well... I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. What do we know? Edie, the Sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently, and no communications have come or gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in Sanctuary. If there's a clue to Cerberus here, we find it. Ma'am, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak, but I'll try to boost it. This is Oriana Lawson. Stay away from Sanctuary. It's not what it seems. Please, you must listen to me. They're using... Oriana? That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. Seeing some damage, Commander, but no activity. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. Shepard. That's Miranda. This is Miranda Lawson. If you've managed to get this far, you must be desperate or stupid. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run by my father, Henry Lawson. Turn back now. There is no help to be found here. All communication is being blocked from the central tower. Sanctuary is a lie. Stay away. Okay, so we've got Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. The security panel. Shutting it down. Strange. An unusual amount of technology for such a facility. We have a back door into the facility. Let's move. Power switch. Some kind of control center. There. With power. Look around for a switch. Yes. This process is known to me. They do not kill what can be useful. I'm sorry, Commander. I think I understand. They're being turned into husks.
Reaper forces have made a mess of the facility. I'm shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. I should keep them out of the entrance as well. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move. The Reapers wish this place to be shut down. Maybe we'll find answers. Doesn't make sense. That Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. What changed? You got it, Shepard. Heading to the tower to disable the communication scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? Your choices will become less appealing as the Reapers devour your galaxy. She mentioned shipments. Could lead us to the elusive man. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. Heavy resistance outside the tower. If you're receiving this, I've got evidence you cannot ignore. Confirmation that my father is working for the elusive man. Connection established. I have your report on the process, Mr. Lawson. Cut to the chase. Can you do it? Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. If he can control Reaper minions, we have a potent weapon. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know where the Reapers attack Sanctuary. They deduce Cerberus's plan. That bodes ill for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Hold on, Shepard. There's more. Damn it. I hope she's ready for him. Shepard. A Commander oh! Shepard. Excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Oriana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. I have no problem with you. I just want Oriana and the research data. You want a lot. You get your life in return. How much is that worth? All right. Take her. <clears throat> but I want out alive. Deal? Ah! No deal. Did he hurt you? Are you all right? It's okay, Ori. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Commander Shepard. Fancy meeting you here. We caught a break. You all right? I'll be fine. Really? I don't know how you managed it. But I'm grateful you're here. Miranda, this whole thing was a huge risk. You should have told me. You have a war to win, Shepard. This was my fight. It's been a long time coming. You did it. It's over. Yes. I just wish my sister didn't have to see all this. About your father. 
I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. We can stop running. Yes, you can. What's our status? Any intel we can use from this place? Research data is gone, but some basic facility information is still intact. Shuttle arrivals and departures, Cerberus included. No direct links, but it's a start. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Leng took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. Tracer? Sounds like you thought of everything. Not quite, but... Nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is exactly what we need. Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. I gotta follow all this up. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. I hope so. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Cortez, by Cortez, we father, need to pick up Henry at the Wilson. tower. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready. Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. sleep either? No. Making yourself crazy with this won't help. Caden, I need to... Shh. Just take five minutes. A quick drink. And then I'll go. Shepard, you know that you've done everything you could, right? I hope so. I keep running the numbers to see if I've missed something. You don't have to take this all on yourself. Look to your crew. To the talented people fighting by your side. What you've accomplished since the Reapers arrived is... Uh, it's just nothing short of amazing. It's, it's gonna be... It's gonna be what it is. You're exactly what I need right now.
I lied. I, I didn't come here for a quick drink. You mean a lot to me, Kate. I love you. I've always loved you. Through all these years, through, through everything. I'm the luckiest man alive. Hey, hey, hey. Where are you going? All right, Caden. What's up? Are we gonna make it, Caden? <sighs> We're ready. You've put the people together, the vision, and what you've done, Shepard, is build hope. I'm glad I inspired that in you, but sometimes. <laughs> You're right. Give us hope and a fighting chance. Reapers better watch themselves. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Grab your gear. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey, I got us to Ilos. I can do this. It might be a bumpy ride, though. Do what you can. Shepard, I am ready. Wait, wh what? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or... I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, Edie. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. I know it hurts not being able to go with her. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Thanks for bringing that up. Hey, Shepard. Keep her safe. Same to you.
launching fighter. Impressive! The central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. Edie, can you get past it? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. And if I hadn't brought you along... Cerberus would have vented the hangar. Thanks for coming. I am pleased to assist. We must proceed through a sub-level to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. We will be through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. I saw what was left of you. I thought you knew. Are you all right? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me. Or maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. But I don't know. I'd be surprised if it didn't unnerve you. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, Shepard's an Alliance soldier. As far as she knows, we're a terrorist organization. I'm not looking for a dance partner. We need Shepard, and Shepard needs resources. She'll work with us. He was an excellent judge of character. Every instinct I had told me not to trust Cerberus. But I needed their help, so I played along. You did what was necessary, and now you'll take him down. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. He populated the Normandy with friendly faces, so you never saw Cerberus for what it was. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Is that... This is the human proto-reaper Shepard destroyed. What's left of it? I guess Cerberus recovered it from the base. I can't believe you really fought that. Those poor colonists. The elusive man convinced me to work with him to save the colonies. But he never really cared, did he? Perhaps he did. He certainly fooled himself into thinking this was for the best. When you work in secret, it's tempting to believe you have all the answers. You're not him. You'd never be. If it could have saved Thessia... I don't know. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The head is largely intact. I believe they are using it for high-level computing operations. This is it. Stay sharp, everyone.
I need to locate the Prothean VI. Shepard, you're in my chair. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah. We all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst. Yes. Even with Cerberus in ruins, you still think you can do this your way. I'd expect you to say that. You never truly believed in us. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie, I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you. Working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body, but instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. Online. Security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat, but don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yes. I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. What? The catalyst is the Citadel. Why couldn't you tell me this before? It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper control space. Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as Sol. Earth. Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. Don't count us out yet. We've come this far, and we'll finish this. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me Hackett. He needs... Not so fast. You. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. Son of a bitch! The 
citadel is in position. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend investing. I'll stop them. Barely. I assume you've heard about the Citadel. Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but... It looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now, we know what for. We'll scout it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Be careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Anderson out. <laughs>